Okay, welcome back. Zoe Flowers here. Welcome to the Magic Hours. That card literally just flew out. I don't know if I should use it or not. Um, I don't think so because I didn't really concentrate. So let's start again. So this is all about... This is all about our money. This is about money. So we are using the Tarot of the Orisha. So we're going to ask the Orisha, what do we need to do? It is Thursday, Jupiter's day, the day of luck, a day of abundance. So we're going to ask Orisha, what is going to help us? What do we need to do to get in right relationship with our money and look what shows up <gasps> oh my god we're talking about money and who shows up Stephanie Burns, shout out to you because you already know. Dr. G Love and anybody who is in the soul shifting hoop, you already know what this means. Dr. G Love, sis. You already know what this means for you and I specifically. Now, because this is a brand new deck as evidenced by how shiny it is, like, I'm going to have to read. But this is Transformation Thursday. Okay? This is Transformation Thursday. This is where we work on our finances are manifesting. All right? We have Music Monday, Tarot Tuesday, Ancestor Guidance on Wednesday, and here we are on Transformation Thursday. I already know this is good because Earth is pentacles. It's pentacles. It's pentacles, honey. It's pentacles. It's resources. The resource is coming a message from earth so let's get to first and then we got the earth okay the earth element i opened up the book it came to this so we're doing this first anaximander i don't know who that is believed that the origin of all things was the unlimited okay clearly i need to know who that is and the indefinite and that probably as Greek geom geom geometricians said, the indefinite was round. We should recall that the planet Earth has always been present in the conceptualization of humanity as a maximum exponent of the round. Earth is a feminine and passive element. Earth has three corresponding astrological signs, Taurus, Virgo, and the ruler of and my ascendant Capricorn upright all the materiality given by the earth relate all aspects and interests connected to it take into account the dates that govern the three signs belonging to it characteristics meticulous pragmatic Meticulousness, pragmatism, determination, and assurance. Also a restrained or restraining situation. Now, some of this language, I don't get it all. But take into account the dates that govern the three signs belonging to it. So we're going to take that into account, okay? Because first of all, Taurus, if we're taking in account of all of the dates that govern these three signs. Well, we just came out of Taurus season last week. All right? So we should at this point be actively engaging in being meticulous, pragmatic, determined, 
and assured that what we are working on will not fail. We need to be meticulous about all the things we create. We need to be assured that the things that we are desiring desire us. We need to be pragmatic, right? Capricorn, like I'm a very pragmatic person, despite, I don't know, evidence to the contrary. That is our Orisha guidance. That's super clear. I don't feel like I need to say anything more about that. Now, this message from the earth with our gnome. Where is our message from the earth? Where is our gnome? I think the gnomes are in the back. Yeah, they are. All right. Let's see what our message says. A minute being of the surface and depths of the earth surrounded by riches provided by his own environment a goblin a gnome representing the earth elemental he resembles the typical image we have of them his angular features and protruding eyes emphasize his intelligence and vivacity that's the other thing about capricorn like we have a lot of energy to do a lot of things his long white beard speaks of years of rule and betrays his age the other thing about capricorns is we age backwards right he is holding a coin for these beings are the custodians and faithful guardians of the biggest treasures the spirit just said don't read no more so i'm not reading anymore work with the gnomes work with your gnomes all right they are the guardians of treasures and coins so you might want to get a cute little gnome and put it out in front of your house you might want to print off a picture of a gnome and, you know carry it around in your wallet i'm thinking about all kinds of cute things that i'm going to do with gnomes i think i'm actually going to put this on my crystal grid for the week i think i'm going to put both of these images on my crystal grid for the week if i were you I do it too all right these are very good money is on the way we know that the resources are connected to the earth they are there for us they are there for the picking let's get out and get them but let's be meticulous let's be pragmatic let's be spendthrift okay and that is my message for you for the week and I will see you next Thursday with another reading bye